CBS News contributor and Republican strategist Frank Luntz is in Los Angeles. Good morning. Good morning. So I ask you the same question I ask Andy Card. Where is all this going? Well, it's a challenge, and I've been doing focus groups in the last two weeks, and we found that there are a significant number of Republicans that will be furious at a member of Congress or a senator that doesn't support Donald Trump, if they themselves are, because they will consider that to be disloyal, and they'll consider that to be, in essence, pro-Washington. But there's another group that is equally as important that are concerned about Donald Trump, and they would feel that an endorsement of him is actually not what they're looking for. For the GOP to be successful in November, they have to walk that narrow tightrope between turning on conservatives and appealing to independents. I have to tell you, Charlie, in all the time I've been doing this, which is now almost 30 years, I've never seen anything like it. The GOP has never had this challenge at a time when Hillary Clinton, the Democratic presumptive nominee, is weaker than any Democratic nominee in the last 50 years. What about, what about Republican money? Is it going to flow to Trump? Well, that's one of the challenges. I actually think that less Republican money will flow to Trump, and Trump will do better among working-class voters who don't have the money to contribute. And that, Charlie, is what's different about this campaign. You have traditional Democrats in places like Pennsylvania that are casting votes for Donald Trump as the first Republican nominee that they've ever voted for. Similarly, you've got some very big-level donors who, for the first time, are not putting their money behind the Republican candidate. Once again, this has not happened in modern politics. Andy Carr told us this morning, Frank, that the onus is on Donald Trump to reach out to the Republicans. Um, my question to you is, who needs who more at this point? You can't have that fight. If you have that fight, then the Republicans are in trouble. The fact that Paul Ryan did not give his endorsement is a signal to Donald Trump that he has some work to do. However, if they end up not working together, I can promise you, not just a Democratic president, but a Democratic Senate, and I'll say it here this morning, that if they continue to argue, if they continue to fight, you could even see a Democratic House. And Frank, how will Donald Trump's response land, uh, essentially doubling down on his position at present? You can't do that. This is now, you're into the general election phase for the Republicans. And who would have thought that Trump would secure the nomination even before Hillary Clinton did? And I want to point out that the fact that Bernie Sanders beat Hillary Clinton in Indiana tells you that she still hasn't unified Democrats, and yet you and I on this show are talking about the challenges within the GOP. We are seeing the fracturing of politics on the left and on the right, and right now there is no way to provide an accurate prognostication of what happens in the fall. Frankly, any, any outcome is now possible. So we continue to wait and see. Frank yeah, that, wants in Los That Los meeting Angeles. next week should be very interesting, Frank, between the two of them. Fascinating. Absolutely. All right. Thank Frank, you. thanks.